Okay, this is probably really going to surprise you guys. This right here holds supposedly the best bug spray ever made. Now, when I go outside, I have to do a lot of weed eating up front because really brought the dirt, it's not graded and you know it, where the septic is and everything. So there's no riding anything, there's no pushing anything, it's all weed eating. And last time I did it, I got tore up. My legs were destroyed with bug bites. I mean, scratch till you bleed type. And everybody's telling me they're chiggers and you have to put nail polish on them. I never do see no damn kind of bugs any place I've looked and it just seems like it's just, I don't know, something. So I got online, I was doing a little research on this bug spray. And at first when I seen it, I was like, you gotta be effing me. That's about the, <laughs> that's the best way I can put it. So, I'm gonna unbox this and show it to y'all. All my friends think I'm crazier than all get out. But I'm gonna try anything to not have my ankles and my calves and my knees just bloody with bug bites. So let me get to opening this box. Okay, so the box is open. Now keep in mind, I've tried off, off extra defense, the DEET stuff. I mean, I've tried just about any kind of bug spray I can get my hands on. And I'm constantly just getting tore up. Just to the point, the other night I couldn't even go to sleep. My legs kept itching. I've tried hydrocortisone cream. I've used calamine lotion. Just all kinds of stuff. And just nothing one prevents it and nothing seems to really give me any relief other than just scratching the crap out of it uh, i'll use the back of a knife just to get after it i mean it's i've gotten so used to making my legs bleed from these damn bug bites it just doesn't bother me anymore so here we go this is what it is i can't believe i'm doing this it's a perfume from Victoria's Secret called Bombshell. I'm not shitting you. Well, look, my friend Felicia, they even ordered it for me, got the Bombshell Cream. Sweet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, Bombshell. <laughs> and, you know, okay, I'm gonna back myself up with some actual data there's going to be a link pop up in this video talking about this stuff. And also, I'm a subscriber to CRTV. I'll have a link to that below. And I watch a show called In the Woods with Phil. Phil is the uh, creator of the Duck Dynasty brand. And in his shows on CRTV, he buys this stuff like crazy and he's out in the swamps in Louisiana and he said it keeps the no sims away and chiggers and mosquitoes it's it's awesome so I was like well if Mr. Duck Dynasty can put this stuff on I can too I might smell like a whore but I won't have no bug bites so I'm gonna take this out and let's see how sweet I'll be so here we go now this really wasn't expensive. She said this little gift set was like 10 bucks. So I was like, why not? Let's try it. You know, if I end up smelling like a Rudy Tootie Fruit Loop Popsicle Weirdo, I guess that's just the, <laughs> that's just what I'll have to smell like. So let's give this stuff a sniff. Let's just don't be all like a sugar cookie, please. Here, let's get some out of here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It's not strong at all. It really barely smells like anything. It's got a, a kind of a flowery smell to it, but it's not. Don't smell like wet unicorn farts and sugar cookie dreams. Yeah, that'd be, is it turning pink? It better not be turning pink. I better not be turning pink. Maybe it's just a white. Just feel good though. Yeah, it's not. I can't even smell it unless I stick it up to my nose. 
Good, 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 good. <laughs> Golly. But it's not strong at all. Sweet. Maybe I'll be able to keep the damn bugs off of me and not smell like a stripper while I'm weed eating. It's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this stuff on. Give it a test, go do some weed eating. Now you watch, since it's hot outside, this stuff is gonna smell like everything I don't want it to smell like. And yeah, I'm going heavy. I'm gonna be swoop, swoop. I'm gonna be tutti fruity. As soon as I sprayed this stuff on me, I had like a mosquito laying on my hand. Are you for real? <laughs> I think I just got set up. Let me get my weed ear started. I'm gonna start weed eating a little bit. Okay, so I've used a whole tank of fuel. As you can see, I've went this whole front section, except for right on top of the dirt, all down the driveway, down along the ditch line, around all these trees, all back up here, and started cutting across. And I don't feel any bites. The only itchiness I feel is what I was already itching from. So that's good. I run out of gas. I'm gonna go wash my arms and stuff. And if you ever get in like poison oak, poison ivy, poison sumac, anything might make you break out. Always wash your, your uh, arms and hands and face and neck and anything that any of that sap might have got splattered onto with cold water and Dawn dish soap. Because hot water will make that oil spread. And we don't want that. Okay, now I got my head and my neck and my arms hands washed. I go ahead and change my shirt because if I've got any of that stuff on my clothing, I don't want to be sitting down in a chair or something and get that poisonous fluid or whatever you call it on anything from like the poison ivy or the hog weed. Another thing, if you think you get into some hog weed or giant hog weed, if you don't know what that stuff does, go online and I'll and look it up and I'll also leave a uh, link in the description. That hog weed and giant hog weed is some just bad news. I thought I had some around here. I tried to kill it all, but y'all, yeah, hog weed is horrible. It's not really the salve that comes out of the plant that tears you up. It's once that salve gets on your skin and it comes into contact with sunlight. And then what it does, it wherever that that poisonous uh, salve, I'm just calling it salve, that's all I can think of. <laughs> if you've looked at the pictures where people have got into it, it looks like they just walked out of a burning house. It's terrible. So, never thought you'd have to keep track of that kind of stuff out here or in this part of the country but I guess it's true what are you so well so far so good I don't smell like a fruit loop and I'm not noticing any bug bites on my arms my neck or my face I just have itching spots around my, my ankles where I got tore up earlier so so far so good I still got about half of the front to do then I gotta do, mow the grass in the back, and hopefully I still get the same results. So I'm walking around, trying to actually show you guys some of that parsnip, that cow parsnip. And here's some. Now I've been trying my best to get rid of it with my ground clear spray. But it seems like I'll take some down, and all of a sudden, I'll come back to the same spot and I'll find more of it. There's some more there. Yeah, this stuff sucks. So, I'm actually coming over here to get to ride more. Here's some more. You'll probably see this stuff everywhere along the highways. I didn't ever know it was some pretty shady stuff until I found those blisters under my arm at one time. But, so now, Borrowing my friend's riding more. I'm gonna cut some grass. Well, there might not be anything to do on the inside, but there's always sticks to burn. I'm burning up the old part of the deck. Or, yeah, the old deck. 
I was going to use it around back, but eh, I decided not to. For the main reason, I would have had to carry it back there. <laughs> so I wasn't up to it. So, I guess it's about 6.30. Sun's going down. But I have to say, I don't have any bug bites. So I guess that uh, bombshell is doing pretty good. Now where I've been bit previously on my legs, like from my kneecaps down, it's been itching a little bit, but I went back and scrubbed all that with alcohol and put some cortisone cream on it. So we'll see how it gets. But so far, I'm kind of pleased with the uh, bombshell. So but anyways, I guess that's it for this video. I'll talk to you all later.